Christ Jesus, death is not an everlasting thing, but life is everlasting. So we come out to say so long to the Lord that we will see you in the great by and by. And we will reunite once more. Let us join together in our thoughts. And let us pray to Almighty God that he has accepted her into his kingdom where she would rock in his bosom until Jesus comes to claim all his own. Let us pray. Father God, we know not the reasons why things happen as they do. We know not what our plot in life shall be or how long we will be here. But we thank you this day for allowing our sister to pass our way. We thank you for the lives that the Lord has touched in so many ways. The love that she showed to others and the love that she received from others. We do not know, Lord God, what tomorrow holds, but we know who holds tomorrow. And you hold it in the palm of your hand. And you hold each and every one of us in the palm of your hand. And as we have gathered here to show the love and respect that we have for our departed sister, we ask that the love of Christ continue to manifest itself among us that we too will be approved for the kingdom of God. Father, we give you all honor, praise, and glory for the things you're doing and the things you have done. And we ask in the name of Jesus that you accept the soul of our beloved sister into your kingdom, where she might reign forever and ever. Watch over her family as she has departed. Fill that void with the love of Christ. Watch over her friends. Watch over all her colleagues. Give them all the peace of understanding that today their sorrow might be had because others share it. But tomorrow joy may be found in their heart. For they'll know that she's in the best hands. The hands that created all things above heaven and below. She's in the hands of her God from everlasting to everlasting. This be our prayer we ask as we pray the prayer that you taught us when we say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.